Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Passage of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. We are here to play a little bit more Retrocade. Today is Captain Morgan and the Golden Turtle. Yes, I've never heard of this game before in my entire life. Uh, right, so that is a... It's sort of a lie. I have heard of Captain Morgan before. But um, I had thought it was a much older series than it actually is. From the description I'd seen of it, uh, whenever browsing through Wikipedia pages and other places, uh, whenever I was specifically searching for games that were in the similar vein to Broken Sword 5, uh, Captain Morgan showed up and I was like, this looks like an old point and click adventure game. So, wow, okay, is this a new release? Has this been around for a while? Let's check it out. Um, obviously, if, I'm not expecting LucasArts. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping this is actually a uh, well put together adventure game. The, these kind of games deserve to exist. It's just exemplums of them are getting further and further and farther between. Is this Captain Morgan's dad? Or. Saved by a charismatic pirate in a purple jumper! Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so ashamed I lost my footing. <sighs> Alright, so uh, look, action, move, inventory. So, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, this actually is PlayStation Move compatible. We won't be doing that today. I do have the PlayStation Move controller, but I have There's no time for sitting around, ladies. There's important work to be done. That's right! That's right, Morgan. There's always important work to do. Little auto work. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I must finish the chores before I can go outside and play. Okay. Girl does not look to be like the A's that need. It's just uh, their, their design choice, but um, yeah. Pick up your crossbow. You're not allowed to touch the crossbow, Morgan. Okay, mother. So why is there one on the wall? Because it stays on the wall. Um, I feel bad. I'm because your father thought it could be useful kind of in an anymore. emergency. It's a dangerous item, and I don't want you to hurt yourself. Besides, your father would be angry. Okay, that's fine. Let's clean those windows. I don't need to open the window. You don't need to clean the window? Oh, it's so slow to respond. <laughs> um, woo, we found a thing. Oh God, move it a little bit faster. I don't know what to do with it's that. It's too large for me to carry around. Oh, it's... I'll take this item with me. I miss the days when you actually use, like, like events, like, Play the Amazon Queen starts with you tied to a chair. Oh no, it's Stuart Stobart and Broken uh, Sword. The part of it starts with you tied to a chair, around. locked in a room that's on fire, and you have to make your way out. Why are we not doing that? We're, we're dusting our house. Hi, adventure! I the dust with my hands. Then how do I bring up my inventory? One of my chores is to. I need to sweep up the dust. You need dust. to sweep up the dust. Now, where is my inventory? I can't read those. Once belong to the most distinguished family members. Go uh, hey, use that with that. Then all right. I can't pick up. Ah! Mm. 
Okay. How do I use? Ah, there we go. Oh, we're on our way. I wonder where dust comes from. If I could stop it happening, I'd never have to sweep up again. It's actually nanites in this air. It's designed to actually create chores for children. You know, uh, that's what the actual plan was. Um, I, I do not know which button gets me to the actual menu screen. Is that is a terrible combination. Hot. There we go. You go in inventory with triangle, you lift, then take it out of inventory by going back to the use icon. Ooh, nearly. Bonita Castillo. Okay. Okay. This won't work. I need water to wash it. Clean the windows with a dry cloth. Mm. Why can't I? Oh, this is it's slowly driving me insane. Uh, hello there to actually who subscribed. Thank you very much for subscribing. Um, obviously, I'm struggling with this. Do a thing! Oh, Jesus Christ. That was a bad one, too large for me to carry around. Water jug. Okay, so our water jug is empty. We need to put water in the jug. I imagine I have to go outside to get water. I'm doing my chores, Mama. I'm going to fetch water from the pump. I need to tell you because Very we won't actually be allowed outside. Otherwise, we already left the dust. Jesus. Hi, adventurer, Captain Morgan. Come on! Oh my god, she's running! <gasps> Amazing! I was gonna say a pivot bullet is break. I guess I wanted to use the peg leg as a pivot bolt. A powerful magnet. After what happened last time, I'd better stay away from compasses with this. I'm sure they'll find that ship one day. I found a magnet. Mm 
Jesus! It's like it is, it is actually pointy. Um, as much as I love the point and click game style, it doesn't uh, lend itself to movement at any speed. Um, I'd rather play outside with my friends. That's okay. I was trying to find a pig. Once I have a pig, then I can actually use it as a pivot board. But of course, these are all family heirlooms, so I can't use the pig from here. Mama doesn't like me playing with the family relics. She says we have to honor their memory. Mother, where would there be a pivot board? Yeah, I'm going to check my bedroom. I don't need to go there. Ooh. You don't need. Do you know what? You don't need to go there. I don't need to play this anymore. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Captain Morgan. Um. For a point-and-click adventure, uh, some of the games I've actually played in the past, I played uh, Demetrios, which was a curly, tongue-in-cheek, awkwardly translated game. I played Deponia, which was charming in its own way, but uh, mildly offensive, and it was just one of those games that I just stopped playing. Uh, Broken Sword 5 has failed to actually launch with me, even though I sat down and tried, tried to get progress going on. Point-and-click adventures that don't have a long, quick instigate long quick long quick in the wrong way to say it um a long story with a quick instigation that draws you in lose me almost instantly i don't have the time or patience to play point click adventures like i used to and even the best ones the ones i still remember after playing them so so many years later always had something that made them flow very very quickly at the beginning um even if you had to deal with her movie mechanics where you click on one place and it takes them forever to get there, at least you could stop flow of movement and get them to change their mind on the way if you made a misclick. In this case, it doesn't work. In. I am done with you, Captain Morgan. Um, I would actually come back and look at this at another point if somebody else wants to see me just get fucking angry at this and how low so it is. But believe me, it'll be done with a guide sitting on my side to make this the shortest, shortest possible experience possible. Maybe we've actually moved on from the, the point and click adventure has had its day and we're done with it if you want to actually check out one that has a very modern way of doing the point and click maybe take a look at something like wayward skies a vr game which actually is impressively using point and click to actually move a single person around a map to actually take part of a series of puzzles in fact if you think about it the evolution of the point and click game has really become the puzzle genre of things like portal chroma gun um oh i'm trying to think of ones that are actually of a, of a summer nature kit on some of the walking simulators do you have very point and clicky kind of environments to them uh, unfinished swan or beyond eyes or there's some other games that actually are, are not are skipping me now at the moment even the 2d platformers like hugh thomas was alone braid they all kind of like take the point and click movement uh, methodology of get object here place it here to make things happen here to do that to capture them down into smaller segments bite-sized chunks even the hidden object genre itself has done this better and this is a per game that will probably be forgotten for what exists except for a funny accent and a very per opening scene maybe this gets better in the middle uh, maybe this gets better we as soon as we leave the scene but i think it's a very very slow way to teach mechanics and i would personally recommend avoiding it for other players unless you can convince me in the comments that this might be worth go back to look at uh, is this a personal favorite is this a historical favorite for anybody who's watching the channel do you enjoy captain morgan then tell me in the comments below and i'll actually take another look at this tell me why i'm wrong because i'm i'm really not enjoying this in any way shape or form so um yeah this is actually an episode of retro kid that ends with me going eh, please miss it skip this one there's no point going back to check this one out so yeah thank you very much for watching if you haven't been watching this on youtube there'll be a box up above you that actually be the playlist over that side will be the most recent video on the channel right here will be a video just for you based on the youtube analytics the things you do on youtube it'll pick a video that i have made that you will enjoy that's sitting right like that one also remember whatever source you're watching on be it youtube facebook twitter whatever else there is a analog to the subscribe button make sure to hit that hit follow share like and comment and i will see all you dudes in the next video Bye.